no matter where you stand on the issues. The 2020 presidential election is coming up. But there are a number of state and local elections happening right now. Sister Circle wants you to make a difference in your circle and circle the vote. I'm circling the vote for women's rights. I'm circling the vote for education. I'm circling the vote for my community. I'm circling the vote for our future. I'm circling the vote for my children. No matter your values, belief, or political affiliation, make cool. sure you, you circle, circle the vote. vote. Yes! yes. <laughs> circle the vote! Circle the vote! It's National Voter Registration Day! Yes! I love it. And just as you saw, we're kicking off our Soak of the Vote campaign. We've invited political analysts Mo Ivey yes. to talk about what it means to be an informed voter and how. Mo, welcome back to the show. It's always good to have you. Thank you, ladies. Yes, so what do you say to people who still don't believe that their vote counts? Mm. You know, that is such an old argument. Your voice and your vote matters. Mm -hmm. If you put all the people that you know together that don't vote, then they move the needle. Mm -hmm. So it's not just thinking about it as, oh, it's just my one vote. It's mm -hmm. not your one vote. In recent elections, there have been like 1.9% of the people who are registered to vote to come out and vote. It matters and it changes the uh, the way we put people in office. Right. Mm. Now what do we say about, you know, most people, they only pay attention to the presidential campaign. What do we say or how do we get people to to pay more attention to, attention to uh, um, state and local elections? Like how do we get them to get information oh. so that they can know who's on the ballot and who, what they represent? Mm -hmm. It's so important. Everything happens in your state. Yeah. It doesn't just happen federally. So all of these abortion bills that are uh -huh. restricting our rights mm -hmm. come from states. Yes. So it's important for you to vote in your state. And the way you know about it is once you register to vote, like today's perfect time to register to vote, you'll start getting information because you'll be mm -hmm. on the rolls. And so when people look up who to mail, you know those flyers you get uh -huh. in the mail? Yes. That comes the from time. the registration yeah. polls. So if you want to get all of that information sent to you, just register to vote and you will start getting that information. And then of course be proactive yeah. and go out and find out about yeah. it. Yeah, that's so true. That's so so I do want to stay right there with it. Uh, we saw in the last election, some people sometimes think, oh well I'm registered to vote, but you know it's not going to make a difference, it's not going to make a change. Or, and, and then sometimes you, you're feeling like, yes it's going to make a difference, I'm going to go out and vote, but when you get to the polls, you're mm. either at the wrong poll, mm. okay, or something has happened where it's not activated. Mm. It's just not active. You're just not mm. active. Is there a way that we can find out what our status is? And it's so important to do that now, now. versus waiting the day yes. of or the week of even. Absolutely. Today is not only National Voter Registration Day, but that's the first step. If you're not registered, register. Mm -hmm. If you are registered today, check your registration. Mm -hmm. Just go to your Secretary of State's website and check your registration. Yeah. It's going to tell you if you're on the polls, where you're at, if your address has changed. Mm -hmm. Somebody here mentioned that they move a lot. So change your address each time mm -hmm. so you can be on the roll and when you show up there'll be no excuses for them not letting you vote. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well let me ask you this question because you know most people they vote uh, according to what party they support like if you're a Democrat you vote Democrat you know blah 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 but my question is what if the person in your party does not necessarily ref reflect your views. Mm -hmm. So what do you do in that respect? Well, you are allowed to show up at any voting uh, precinct and tell them what party you want to vote for. Or some are nonpartisan races and you just get a ballot that has people's names on it. If you're registered as a Republican, it doesn't prevent you from saying, today I would like a Democratic ballot. Mm -hmm. So if it just so happens that somebody does not line up with your views, mm -hmm. which happens all the time, mm -hmm. you vote according to your own self-interest. And you yes. walk right into that precinct and you say, I want a ballot for this person or I want a ballot for this party or I want an independent uh, ballot and then you'll be able to vote in your best self-interest. What does a campaign like Circle the Vote mean for our viewers and you know for us using our platform like we have? Listen, I'm so excited for you guys to be doing this and it's so important because 2020 is going to change our yes, nation. Yes, it is. Yes. Right? And it's not going to just change our nation just federally but also what happens in your state. Who become your state legislators? What bills get passed? If you think it doesn't matter to you, well, if you want to go get you know your food stamps or you want to get unemployment and all of these laws happen in your state. Yes. And then the federal comes right on top of it to solidify what happens. It's so important. Start early. Today is voter registration day. Just go to your Secretary of State's website. Check it out. If you're not registered, register. If you have a 17-year-old in your house, they can register today. Mm. And they have to be 18 by 2020. So it's a, anybody mm. can go and register and check their registration status today. And That's there are some good. elections who are, what are, that are happening next month. How can people find out about those as well? Oh, same way. Go, go to your Secretary of State's office and find out. You can even go to your public library mm. or go to your um, uh, uh, electorate. There's a board of electors in every county. So you mm. can even go not just statewide but countywide mm -hmm. and you can find out all this information. And it's very important. There mm. are elections going on in 2019 that could affect you. Mm. Wow. Mm. See, that's why so you good. bring somebody like Mo. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. So, to 
keep us well informed, and we're so happy to have launched our Circle the Vote campaign. Mm, awesome. To learn more about Circle the Vote and how you can become a more informed voter, visit our Instagram at Sister Circle TV.